Yes, there we go. I've got him at last. It took a while. Customs charged me money again, but here we have it at last. Keldor, apprentice of Hordak. Comes in the usual blister packaging. It's got little holes in there. Um, little buttonhole. And I am not going to read it to you. If you want to read it, read it. Pause and read. Shows you some of the figures you can get. What? Okay, I don't know if this is going to pick this up. Look at, look at the picture on there of Beastman. His face is messed up. It's like the worst paint job ever. I don't know what's going on with that, but anyway, that's a little strange. There we go, anyway. It's a box. You all know what the box looks like. I'm sure you've got these figures already. So let's open it up and see what we have. Now, I don't have editing software on my computer. So you'll just have to listen to me open him. Oh dear, what's going on there? And tough. Oh, there is out the packaging. I have been waiting for this figure for a long time. I ordered him about a month ago. Or day, day, six. I ordered him 21 days ago. Finally, got him today. Happy say, even though customs charged me. <laughs> and there we have Keldor. Before he became Skeletor. Well, it's not Keldor before he became Skeletor. Yes, it is. It's Keldor before he became Skeletor. And with his little vial of acid, which obviously turned against him in the end. And funnily enough, it, it's got little bones, bone markings on the side of it. Maybe that's supposed to be ironic. Oh, there we go. So let's have a good look at him. Now, he is a nice figure. He's a really, really vibrant blue. Um, I, I had Skeletor, I had to sell him. I've got a new Skeletor on the way. Uh, got him off eBay for £12. Yay! But this guy is so blue. It's, he's like, like... Like a real baby blue. I, I haven't got another figure that's as blue as this. Um, no, nothing. Anyway. Now, this... Keldor, they, because they're doing it in the Masters line, they gave him two halves of this power sword. Which, I understand. I understand why they did it, but it's like, yay, they look like swords. No, they don't. They're bits of plastic. And, whilst it's nice that these bits fit together, it's nice to have, you know, a purple power sword that does fit together, if I can fit it together. I would have preferred it if they had done the uh, the 2000X power sword, um, but they didn't. So what I did is I went onto eBay because I don't collect the 2000X line. I went onto eBay and I ordered a 2000X Skeletor with the two holes of his power sword. And when I get that, he'll be holding it, and the other Skeletor will go in a box of bits. So well, there we go, there's the, the power sword combined. Our powers combined. <laughs> oh, your powers combined, isn't it? So here yeah, he'll hold that. And his vial of acid. He'll hold that as well. Yeah. yeah. There we go. And shall I shall I force it in? Scratch the black paint. No. There we go. 
Now he's a really nice figure though. Um, nice paint apps. He's got his nice boots. And these boots are a new um, new mould for Keldor. Got the little straps on the side there. Um, they do articulate there. They've got the, the swivel there and the joint there and the ball joint thing on his hip and the arms. It's the same as all the others. Ball joint, swivel on the bicep, elbow and the wrist twist. Head does a 360 and you've got this there. You should, you've probably got these figures already. Um, now, a nice little touch on his cape, which I've seen on other reviews, is there's a nice hole here. So, when he wants to store his sword away, pop it in there, and there you go. But, because he's got long, hard hair, when he stores his sword, he can only look to the left. So, note to He-Man, or anybody attacking Keldor, wait till he's got his sword away, and attack him from the right. But, you know, you, in, a, in a pose, that, that looks nice. It doesn't look bad at all. And I'm glad that they did that. Um, let's pop his head off. Ugh. And have a good look at the, uh, the face sculpt. Nice detail on there. Well, actually, it's nice detail, but there's not much detail. It's very plain. It's He's got a little bit of a, a paint app on, on the cheeks, like he's wearing blusher. But his eyes look nice. It's, it's a nice, neat paint job. The hair, it's not too hard. It does move, so you can move it round. The cape is removable. Um, the way it's moulded is quite reminiscent of Hero's cape, actually. Um, but this is, I can't wait to do this. When I get my new He-Man, my new Skeletor through the post, I'm going to put this cape on Skeletor. It's going to look great. So he doesn't look like he's wearing a random hood. And, and he looks fine without a cape as well. Um, armor is removable, obviously. Do you want me to show you that? Um, it's a nice paint app on the armor. Slightly different to Skeletor's. It's nice darker and it's it's very nice paint app actually. The rivets here are a nice sort of metallic purple. It's very pretty. Um, and there he is, naked. Just like a man that's blue. Um, on the fingernails. It's been painted black, which is a nice little touch on both sides. And yeah, give you a 360. It's a really nice figure. Very happy I got this figure. Obviously, I've been waiting for this for a long time. Um, I've been, I heard about it a while back um, and got excited. And then I saw pictures, and then it was coming soon. And then I got it. As you can tell, I'm very excited about this. I've been waiting for this for a long time, and I'm extremely happy to have it. Um, one of my favourite action figures I've ever had is this. And that blue is just amazing. Lovely. There we go. Um, do you want to see a scale? Here he is with Moss Man. And here he is with... Hero. So there you go. Masters of the Universe Keldor. If you don't have it, go and get it. Thank you very much and goodbye.